Hey everyone, it's Read Your Mind from Urban RCLA and we're back with another build series video of this Proline Toyota SR5 and Night Custom upgrades. So let's get to it. So now we're at the point here you can see where I've got the rear roll bar and the front bumper and the front grill and the rear bumper installed and now it's time to start getting together the lights which come like this from Knight Customs. He said that it's best if you use some sort of clear coat on them from Tamiya. So the only one I could find at my local store was this Pearl Clear, so I'm gonna try that. Otherwise, I would've just glued them right in. Plus, I knew to ask James uh, what kind of glue to use so I don't get glue all over the inside. And he said to use this Clear Part Cement uh, and Window Maker. This is the No Fog CA glue versus like something like this, which is just standard CA glue. This is the No Fog CA glue. So I trust him on that, so I'm gonna use this. Uh, also, I, the, the main look for this vehicle right here for the Back to the Future Toyota SR5 uh, contains yellow covers on the front two lights and the roll bar lights. Now, the Night Custom Kits comes with these covers for them, which look really, really cool. Uh, but I tried to paint these with just your PS Tamiya, and that, that didn't work so well, okay? Um, so, he recommended that I go with the TS paint, uh, for plastic, so I'm gonna try that out. TS16, this is the yellow. If this doesn't work, then I'll go with something more like the enamel, which is what I used on the, the light buckets in the first place, this outdoor enamel, real thick. Uh, and I'm hoping they make it in yellow, I don't know. But we're gonna try this first with the TS paint and then see how that comes up, and I'll let you know. Also, I've decided to go with these grills um, for the lights because they were in my, uh, my uh, Axial kit and they actually fit perfectly on the inside of these lights, so that way I can put the covers over it, so that hopefully when I'm at Axial Fest and I'm running around during the day, I can put the covers on and really get that scale look of it being the back of the future truck, but at nighttime when it becomes necessary for me to have lights, I can put, I can take them off and have a cool looking light. And I'm also gonna paint these yellow so that when I take it off and anyone cares to notice, I actually did the detail and put those yellow as well. Then, I also found a couple of Toyota stickers. Um, the SR5 kit does not come with Toyota stickers, okay? Uh, must be a licensing thing, they couldn't use the logo. Um, so I found these in an old set of stickers I had. You can find it online. If you go to eBay, you can find like um, uh, one-tenth scale manufacturer stickers. I think I got the whole sheet for like six bucks or something. But anyway, I got those, got to put those on, got to remove the masking, uh, and I'm getting pretty close to being Almost done, I might have a few tricks up my sleeve later, but um, I think the build's coming along great and I can't wait to see it when it's finished. So I'm gonna get to work painting and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, well I laid down the first coat of paint with the TS on all the parts I'm gonna use and that TS paint, I just cannot get to work. I mean, on the flat black pieces like this, it just doesn't stick to it. And on the Night Custom pieces, I can't see that it's sticking at all. In fact, I think it's probably gonna look worse than when I started, but whatever, that's the process. So. If you're going to be painting the night custom pieces, you know, you want to make sure that you pick a paint that works. And uh, I might go try to get that enamel. If I do, then I'll let you know how that turns out. We're back here now with the continuation of the SR5 build. I did find some to Toyota stickers, so I'm going to put those on real quick. Um, hopefully by the time I'm done with that, the parts will be dry to check out and see if I can get these lenses on. But I'm getting pretty close to the end, so let's just get back to work and hope we finish this up. There we go, that's an easy way to do that, rather than painting it on there. I know some of my friends in the space, like Hemi Storm, for example, would probably paint that, but I find stickers to be just easy peasy and I actually enjoy doing it, so that looks good. Now, in some of the pictures for the SR5 for the Back of the Future, there's a Toyota symbol on the front. So I'm gonna put the one on the front and, um, you know, give it that racy look. It might be a little bit big, but Whatever. Let's have fun. Let's let's have some fun. There you go. Toyota. Nice and even right in the center. 
And then I might as well take the masking off. I think it's time to do the big reveal. Haven't decided whether or not I'm going to do an interior yet. Um, let me know in the comments below if you think I should do an interior. You can see here in the back I did some uh, taping of the wiring. Now because I'm going to Axial Fest it's going to be super dusty. So I made sure that all the tape as much as I can is secured and is overlapped by other tape. Uh, some of the open places like here will get dirt in there and then eventually it'll just peel off. So we try to keep it as, as, as um, tight as possible on the inside there. And I think the wiring turned out okay. Um, the wiring was a little bit short for the front for the, uh, the, the amber lights, uh, but I'm not complaining. All right, let's get this masking off. All right. There we go. Now obviously it's going to need a little bit of a cleanup, but I think it looks pretty good. You know, I might do, if I don't do an interior, I might do some sort of like tint, but the problem with tint on a black um, body is that it just basically makes the whole thing look black. So we'll figure out what to do there. Right now I'm really liking the way it looks. I even don't mind that you can see the electronics on the inside, you know, maybe, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll throw a, uh, an interior in there. Again, let me know what you think in the comments below. But let's, um, let's go check out how these uh, painted parts came out. Okay, well the parts aren't quite dry yet, so I'm going to continue on with the next part, which is getting the light lenses on. Also, put in the comments below whether or not you think the light lenses glued on the front grill will make it through Axial Fest. I'd be interested to know what you guys think. Of course, I'll check in with you after the event to see what made it, but uh, just let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna hold it there right in place for a few seconds, at least 20 seconds. Just so I can get a good seat in there. All right, that seems to be looking pretty good. You can see, fits right in there nice and snug. Doesn't look like I have too much over any uh, glue dripping out the sides. I well, we would consider that one a win. Not all of them are gonna be wins, but that one was. <laughs> Try the next one. Here we go. Whoa, we're getting dizzy. Okay. Looks pretty good, although I did pretty badly mess up the cutting of the body there. Oh well. Well, it's gonna be look a lot worse when I get done with Axial Fest, so I'm not too concerned about it. But for you scale builders out there, I know you're looking at that going, nice work, buddy. Nice work. Whatever. Tell me about it in the comment section below. Well, it says no fog glue, but it looks like it's blue right now. <laughs> so we'll see how it looks when it dries. It was a little silly. I'm also interested to see how well the lights come through because they seem pretty, pretty dark. So I'm a little interested in that. Oh, I even managed to glue them on in the right way. <laughs> I, I hope anyways, at least they're both the same. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Front light kit for the Toyota SR5 from Night Customs. Looks pretty cool. I'm gonna let this dry, check on the paint, I'll be right back. Here we are. We've made it a little bit further past just gluing on the side lights. We moved on to gluing the center lights as well. It was all pretty easy with the right glue. Like we said before, use the right glue, which is this no fog cement. And it comes out looking really nice. I'll give you a close up of it, as you can see. You can't really see any sort of residue anywhere on the inside there. It's pretty cool. I think it looks really great. Uh, the front stock uh, area for the SR5 Proline body would have the stickers that go with it. I think the addition of the grill is really, really, really a good scale piece. Uh, this is what I consider to be the basic package for the Knight Custom stuff. And the basic package really just gives the SR5 body a real scale look without having to dive into the interior or the engine bay. Um, although those parts are available as well now from Knight Customs. So if you want an engine bay that works with the SEX-10 and an interior, it's there for you. Now I opted not to do the interior right now because I'm going to drive this on all the adventure courses at Axial Fest. So I want to make sure that it's light and it can go over the, uh, the handles because I scored really well last year and I want to score even better this year. 
So right now, um, I ordered a couple of pieces here uh, from Axial. I ordered the um, light lens kit. Now this would be something that would be really great if Night Customs included it in their kit as well for these lights uh, because they don't really give you an option. Uh, but I've got these because I figured if I take off the caps that are yellow in the Back to the Future SR5, then I can um, either show this or show the yellow grates that I'm painting because really what makes the look of the SR5 is the yellow lights and the yellow uh, roll bar light covers. That's the look for the 4x4 in Back to the Future that really gives it that signature look. So I'm still painting the uh, Night Custom uh, lens covers and also the Axial Racing ones. I tried the TS paint and the PS paint. It's not really going so well, but maybe multiple co coats will solve the issue. So a couple more coats of that. I think we'll be ready with that in a second. But in the meantime, I think I'm going to take a look at what these look like on the vehicle. So let, let's take a look at those. All right, here's one lens cap. I'm going to put that in there to see if it works out with these Night Custom lenses. I have noticed that the Night Custom lenses do have the little pegs on the inside, which look like they're going to fit perfectly for these little notches right here. So let's check it out. Okay, I can already tell that's going to be a really tight fit, so I probably won't need any glue for it. But I just wanted to get a look of it. Now, if you could see, if you can imagine what it's going to look like with all lights all the way across, you can see that we've got the yellow in the front and the lights at the top. When I turn it on, the lights will shine really brightly. Uh, but it doesn't really say much for the design. By the way, you might have noticed that I actually put KC on there. I did that with a Sharpie just because I don't, I don't want to make a, a stencil and paint it. I'm, ugh. I just practiced a couple times and put it on there. It's not perfect, but from a distance it looks great. I think that's an okay look, but I'm going to wait for this to dry and we're going to check that out to see if that's any better. So, stick around. Couldn't really wait. I'm just waiting on the, uh, the lens caps to finish drying, but you can see the difference here. These are the stock Axial SCX-10 internal light um, meshes, let's call them. Um, and I painted them first with TS paint. That didn't really work. Then with PS paint. So it's basically just every kind of paint that was yellow in my whole shop I put on this. We're right about the fourth coat. It seems to be looking all right, but I think that looks pretty trick. Like if we're not going to have the covers on and we're just going to be driving around at night with the lights on and we turn off the lights and still have that yellow pop without having to put the caps back on and risk losing them, I think that's a good look. Let me know in the comments below if you think I should do the lens caps or if I should do the yellow light meshes. Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, I'm going to put on one more coat of those and get back and I think I'm going to go maybe with these all the way across see what it looks like. Well. Anyways, let's get to it. Well, see, now the, the decision is getting even harder because I just started to do some mock-ups to see what it'll look like. Okay, so this isn't be done being painted yet, but you can see the difference between the yellow covered, the open, the yellow um, mesh, and the standard clear. <laughs> There's, I'm, I'm kind of torn. <laughs> like, this looks really cool with the lens on it. This one I don't think like shines so well at night. It looks kind of wonky. And then you've got the um, yellow, of course, with the KC on it. That'll be really cool. But still, I'm still up in the air. Like, what am I going to go with? I don't know. <laughs> Gosh, it's hard. I'm really liking this lens look, though. Uh, After much thought and deliberation, I decided to go with the yellow mesh. I think that conveys the same feel as the Back to the Future truck much, much better. And with the lights off, let me get the lights off for you. I think alone it looks dope enough to convey that messaging. So that's just the SCX10 internal light meshes that come with the kit, the Rubicon kit, um, with these Night Custom uh, roll bar uh, lamps. So. I'm really excited about the way this is looking. I know, yeah, I don't have the KC on here, but that's what the lens caps are for, and I'm gonna get to those in a little bit. But for now, I'm really liking it. Now, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If uh, you haven't already subscribed, please do. I always like to hear your comments in the comment section below. Uh, I had a lot of questions in this video. Also, if you have not seen the beginning of this series of the Night Customs Proline SR5 Back to the Future build, uh, you can click here and um, the starting of the playlist will be there. So go ahead and watch it from the beginning. There's some good tips and tricks on how to deal with this little basic kit from Night Customs. Again, thanks to Proline, thanks to Night Customs. I'll see you next time. I'm Read Your Mind, this is Urban RCLA, and I'm out of here.